um, a game called Super Mario Brothers 4. It's fan made and uh, I'm trying to make it like um, regular Mario games. Um, Bailey's always been interested in computers and um, he just loves being around children and adults that love the same thing. Just having the mentors there have um, ign ignited the um, passion and, and, and kind of um, made him realise that he can um, reach his dream if he um, does what he's taught and listens well to the guys in the lab, he'll, um, he'll get there. Um, the lab's a technology club for young people with Asperger's syndrome. It gives them a space where they can socialise with peers, um, explore their interests uh, and learn new skills related to those interests. Um, so the technology is just a medium, but all the work is actually done through the people. So whether it's the mentors who help the young people um, and help sort of teach them new technical skills, or whether it's just the young people socialising with each other. The boys absolutely love it. They, it's the highlight of the week. Here, they know that they're good at something and that they're really good at something. And one great thing about what we aim to do with this project is to create a pathway for them to see a future for themselves. And we're thinking here particularly of the technology angle um, of, of IT and that kind of thing. I like computers. It's like one of my favourite things. I might like to come here for work experience to do games, like make games and see if they work and yeah. The lab is uh, a wonderful environment for uh, kids with all different needs and abilities to be able to get together in an accepting and welcoming environment uh, in which we can really see their, their strengths coming to the fore. Uh, these, um, these children who are um, experiencing the lab, we're seeing them grow, we're seeing them develop friendships, some for the first time, uh, and it's really giving them an idea that the future can have uh, you know, some wonderful, exciting things in it for them, uh, whereas before it may have been a, you know, a scary place. There's no sense for them anymore that uh, they need to work out how to be on their own. They can work out how to be friends, how to work in a team, how to socialise and, and can see a future for them developing in, in many cases overnight with this experience. Well, my name's Riley and the lab's really fun because we get to do a ton of things with the computer, like we get to make games, um, they help us make them, we get to, um, I don't know, play with each other on those games and we do competitions for things. Well, I guess it's just playing with people who are, um, well, where I can be me, where I have people understand me, I guess. I just can't believe how motivated Riley is to continue coming, the enjoyment he gets out of it, the friendships he's made, and that he's actually found his niche. He's found what, what is so good about him and he feels good about himself. And it's not just him, it's myself. I thought computers were just for games and he wouldn't get much out of it. And my whole thoughts on it have changed and I see that there is a whole future in technology for kids like Riley with Asperger's to grow forward and to grow and have a career out of it that they can enjoy and that they're good at, they feel good about themselves. Not only are they learning great skills through with the assistance of the, the programmers and the designers here, um, but they're also learning great skills in, in general life. We really see this as being something that can be applied in any situation anywhere in the world. Because um, all you really need is a room, uh, a group of computers, and some people who know about technology. A lot of what traditional society would call a disability is actually an ability when it's looked at in a different way and put into a different setting and that's part of what we try to do.
These young people are people that really aren't catered for in the current school system. So I think there's a real opportunity for us to expand our activities into other areas. So it doesn't always have to just be about technology. Uh, it can be about other things as well. And yeah, hopefully in, within a few years we can be making a larger impact on these young people's lives.